And here we are with our baby account. And this is going to be a special one. This is the month in review. So we've now been playing this for 30 days. We went hard on energy. We're level 58. We need another uh, 1,500 experience to hit level 59. And I think it's averaging like 6,000 experience per level at this point. So it's about two levels or two, two days, sorry, per level. So that means uh, by next week, we'll have level 60. And that's going to be a whole other deal of a video. But some notable things that are still happening for us. Challenges. I'm still stuck as I could not do the more difficult one. And this is going to be a theme I think that there is an issue with. The quality of characters we get now and things like ISO and everything. And just the red stars, how they're more readily available. And stars in general are more readily available. The gating on certain modes and certain difficulties no longer makes sense. So I autoed all these challenges. Back in the day, when we didn't have characters like Void Knight or a character like Gambit, these were challenging. You had to take in the right characters. It was more interesting, is the, the long and short of it. So I think they need to remove some of these level caps or just at, like at the very least reduce them. Because at least in this challenge, say unlocked at level 50, the enemies would be level 60, sure. Uh, it'd just be more interesting for me to get, uh, get in action with. Okay, let's move on. Arena, we're still sitting in the top 250 to 100. I haven't really tried to push that, but I've also hit a wall. Like, check out C. Kim and Darl. He's like a 400k power. That's almost the size of my entire account. Uh, Spider Bob is 300k. Then we have 160k, which is around my level. 280k power armor. You can see, like, there, there becomes a wall very, very quickly. And even if I were to climb down through that and beat some of those teams with better strategy and better characters, uh, they would quickly just beat me, beat me back once they were in control. All right, this is something that I really wanted to talk about was the, just the Void Knight in general. So after unlocking Void Knight, I was able to complete the entirety of the story campaign, which is really cool. The ones that are not three-starred are the ones that I did before unlocking Void Knight. So I've now three-starred a bunch of them. I get to farm these daily now in preparation. If you want to know what I'm doing, I'm actually not farming the teal gear at the, at the back end. I'm farming orange gear. And for the most part, I've been farming Catalyst. Because bio is definitely going to be something that is going to be taxed because of hive mind. But as a brand new player, I'm also going to be building up my extreme team. I'm also going to be building up my Pegasus team, my Bifrost team. Also that we can push further and further in raids as fast as possible. So I'm taking the opportunity to farm these catalysts because I know that they are used from all different traits. Um, so I think that's important. Furthermore, speaking on Void Knight, so his event is going to end sometime today. And I was able to not only unlock him, but get him to 40 out of 80, completely free to play. And remember, part of his release was in the Isotope 8 hard campaign, which I have absolutely no access to. So there were our orbs farmable here um, that I, I just couldn't get access to. I was completely gated out of that. But I still got the unlock. I still have a very healthy Void Knight, in my opinion. And that was all on the back of the Carnage event and this Quick Rumble event. I got rank 21 here. Unfortunately, there's no rank towards. Uh, I went very hard on it. Now, the problem with Blitzing on new accounts is the sim is locked until you hit level 60. So this was quite the, the investment over the weekend. Um, I don't know. It was like 30 minutes per rotation. And, and like level 60 is going to completely open up this game. Honestly, when you can sim blitz, when you have Crucible open, we have War open now. We're going to talk about that in a second. This is when the game comes online. I think it's unfortunate that it has to be at the 30-day mark. I think it should happen at like the 14-day mark, uh, about two weeks in. But, I mean, that's something for the developers to figure out. I hope they're watching these kind of videos and getting a, a feel for how the community thinks it should go. But also, I'm a veteran player, so I'm not a new player. So maybe my mentality is different than what their average new player is. Maybe they have that research done. I'm not sure. Uh, for my part, though, it sucked. It absolutely sucked. I'm super excited that we're going to be hitting level 60 by the time the next Blitz event comes around. And I guess that's the long and short of it, right? Um, Void Knight was a Blitz event. There's not a Blitz event every month. I mean, there kind of is. There's not a Blitz event. There's not two Blitz events every month. So each new player's life cycle might have one crappy Blitz event where they just get gated out of because they don't know to go super hardcore. They don't have the save squads. Like, you, we max out at 14 save squads. If I was trying to make a new save squad right now, maximum slots reach. I can only have 15 save slots total. That's something I hope that they would change uh, sooner rather than later because I kept having to go into not on cooldown and choose it manually. So not only was I doing manual blitzing, but I was manually inputting teams. I digress. That was just a, a huge pain point. So, but that's the that's the Void Knight story. A new player was able 
to get Void Knight unlocked. And that's really cool. And that's that's sub level 60, sub level 80, trying to get the ISO campaign nodes. That seems like a well designed event. All right, campaigns. Uh, I'm still mostly locked out for levels. The heroes and villains, we're still locked out of this because we need level 70. Although I do think I'd be able to get in there and mix it up with some of them. Never mind, 50k characters, I take that back. Um, which which mode was I talking about? Oh, this one, okay. So I would be able to get into Chapter 7 on the Nexus campaign, and I would easily be able to walk over these. Uh, not that it matters too much, because the characters on here aren't that great anyway. Um, and then we get to 50k, so then this one will be more challenging. But once again, it's just the level gates not making too much sense uh, in general. Uh, but once we hit those level caps, we'll be able to get in there. So in Nexus, we get to do level 60. So that'll be fun. The Mystic Campaign, we're going to get to go in here at level 60. The enemies here are very weak. Once again, that level gate not really making much sense. ISO Campaign, I'm not sure if we had the video on this. We hit level 55 last week. We were able to get into the ISO Campaign. We were able to clear it instantly using very small extreme team with a somewhat big uh nightcrawler and gambit by somewhat big i mean they were the highest level i could build them to with the highest gear tier i could build them to and their level their abilities as high as i can bring them to because you just generally get that material so it's not like strategy played a, a big portion here but speaking of iso i guess yeah i guess a lot happened last week so speaking of iso i started putting level three on a bunch of characters because you only need nine pieces for that uh once you jump up to the fourth piece you need 27 so for iso one it only okay, let's grab a brand new character who has no ISO on them. Age of Venom. He will never have ISO on him. So for the first one, it only takes one piece. For the level two, it takes three pieces. For level three, nine pieces. For level four, 27 pieces. So that's the big jump. And level five is 81. That's the big, big jump. So all the characters that I use on the daily, I brought them up to three. That wasn't very difficult to do. And then now I'm bringing up my raid characters to four. So you see Gambit is done. You see Nightcrawler is done. Venom is nearly done. Carnage is nearly done. Void Knight is nearly done. He can put that fifth piece on, but we're not going to do that until we have all of our raid characters up to four, then five. We're getting ready to start getting into the Doom Raids as soon as possible because um, there's going to be big rewards there. But we need to hit higher levels first. So that's what we're doing with the ISO campaign. I am doing the 50 core refreshes every time I can, though our core stock is basically done now. Um, let's, let's switch over to raids real quick. So raids, we're doing Ultima 6. We're going to be stuck here for a while because Ultima 7 is quite, quite the big jump. So if I go over here, Ultima 7, we check it out. You'll see the character is about 46,000. I don't think we'll be doing this till most of us are around level 70 or at least have Kestrel unlocked. Um, from there, with the, the new characters that we have, I don't think it'll be that hard. Like if we have a full hive mind team or a full extreme team, I think our characters could probably be around 35,000 and we'd be able to get through probably about 60% of the raid. We definitely wouldn't be able to beat that boss, but we'd get very, very close. Um, and then as far as the Alpha, we're doing Alpha 3 right now, but I think we're ready to push on to Alpha 4. Uh, the Alpha 4 enemies are not that not that big a difference, so 25,000 uh, right now, the enemies that we're facing on difficulty 1, actually I have no idea, uh, they are 25,000. So yeah, we're, we could easily push on to 4. We're just going to finish up 3. We're going to do all of our difficulties before we move on, because that's Gold Orb, that's training materials, that's some of the raid gear orbs as well. All right. And now's the big news, the fun news. Da, 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 da. We finally unlocked Alliance 4. That's right. So it took us, what was that, two weeks to go from Alliance level 8, which is what happened when I hit level 50, all the way up to 21. And this was a much more active Alliance than your general Alliance. Your general new alliance would have a lot of people not doing it. You can see we're nearing the fourth box. We've hit the fourth box almost every single day. We have people that were doing cores. You see Hanu did cores. Vader Rebuild did cores. These are people that wanted to push us so that we can get into the war scene faster. So I think they need to they need to have this experience. I understand that they want to have gates so you don't have these like empty alliances flooding the lower brackets of war. Uh, first of all, I don't think that's the, that big an issue because then... New players will have a bunch of shield minions to beat up on in the early stages, which is good for their resources, good for their confidence, good for their understanding of war. Uh, but if it's too big a gate, and I do think 20 is too big a gate, like players that start a new alliance with their friends aren't going to get to the part of the game where they have fun yet. 
Um, so I do think they need to have the amount of experience needed for 21. Um, this leads to the Stark Tech conversation. So, I mean, we started working on our Stark Tech. I'm now putting everything I get into the uh, mutant category here. So I got tech and bio all cut up to where I'm at as far as the amount of resources I can put in. Now we'll do mutant. Stark Tech is another thing I think is... It's a system they gave up on, so it's something that we shouldn't have to struggle through as new players. And I say we, I mean anybody who decides to play Marvel Strike Force. I'm just talking about the community at large. I don't think anybody should have to struggle to Stark Tech anymore because they abandoned it as a system. So again, they need to divide the cost of each upgrade piece by 10. And just let people get their Stark Tech. They could use it in the War Store. Speaking of which, because we unlocked War, I did unlock the War Store. I'm going to try and compile a list of the characters that are in this war store. I think that's something that's missing that they should have on the website. But out of this store, if you just want to know who I'm farming as a new character, a new player, I'm trying to unlock Ironheart. I'm not going to farm her. I'm just trying to unlock her. And then I'm going to hard farm Carnage, actually. I want to get him to six stars so I can bring him into Dark Dimension 1. I'll use the Symbiote team on every single Dark Dimension that I can bring them into. Obviously, I'm going to hit a uh, uh, Alien Spore Bottleneck. But, at least for the, the Purple Gear tier, I'm able to farm it on this node right here. So I'm able to farm a few. Uh, but my, I don't actually know if I can farm this one daily. There's no green dot. And I haven't seen it at all yet. I'm going to ask the developers what that's all about. But uh, Alien Spores will be a limiting factor there. So maybe the Extreme team would be the better option. But they're not farmable yet anyway. Okay. Here's the fun part. Alliance War. That's right. We unlocked Alliance War. I'm super excited for our first war, which should be tonight. Um, we're going to change that war time to be Warzone 1. I think it just lines up better with most people's lifestyle. Um, and what I need to do is I need to compile uh, 10 teams that are going to be able to beat these shield minions. So these shield minions, when you first unlock war, they're very weak even for a player that's at like level 45. They're only 2,000 power. So all you want to do as a very new player is you want to have 10 characters that can solo a team of 2k characters. So you see my level 58 characters, they'll absolutely walk over it. If these guys were only level 15,000 power, they would still walk over it. So basically the top 10 characters I have up here, they're each gonna solo a shield team. Uh, and I have other characters I can throw in with them just to speed up the process. There's no efficiency in war except for if you lose a fight, so don't lose the fight. Um, but I'm not worried about taking out shield teams. Now where the problem comes in, we did this the general way, we did this the uh, organic way. I do think we're going to walk into a bunch of shield helicarriers when we first start out, being that we're at zero trophies. But if you're a new player and you join an alliance that's already level 20 and they already have existing characters and they've already climbed up this zero trophy count, you can see at the top left there, Bishop and the boys, zero trophies. If your alliance has like a thousand trophies, you're probably facing real mid to early game alliances that will actually have defenses up there and you may not be able to clear a single stage so i'm actually very happy that we did do this organically because we're going to get to experience what it's like climbing trophies the rewards we get at the very 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 bottom um where would we find that we'd find that in league info so we are going to be at the very 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 bottom in bronze one getting an okay amount of gold getting a decent amount of credits but here's the thing i think that we're actually going to get double these credits because we're going to able to clear shield teams now if you can't clear the shield teams you're going to get a lot less of these war resources i'm excited to share that with you i'll probably record that tonight and have it out for you guys tomorrow so you can see what it's like um or maybe we're going to come across some shell of an alliance is going to be full of characters that are just retired but they have all their defense up and we're going to be screwed that'll be the other side of the coin that could be a problem um other than that guys crucible i didn't get it unlocked in time you have to hit level 60 on the Saturday before the week if you want to activate the Crucible. So there's no shot for me to do that this week. But next week, we'll have a Crucible video on this new account. And I think that'll be um, just as informative but as boring as the Alliance War one will be. Because I think it's going to be killing Shield Minions. I think the Crucible one is going to be killing Hand Minions. But the Hand Minions are much more powerful, is my understanding. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little recap. Uh, let me know what your new player experience is like. Of course, if you have any questions, any sort of characters you're wondering if you should build, uh, feel free to ask. As far as making like tier lists for characters, because I do get asked that by new players, it's kind of hard, but what you can generally assume is as a news player, you don't want to be building up older characters for no reason. There's going to be legendary characters you want to build up, but you want to stop very, very quickly. If you want to know what characters you can go absolutely hard on, It'll be your extreme characters, your hive mind characters, and your Pegasus characters. You can make sure you're bringing them all the way up. 
your superior six characters are a safe bet. And then whatever new character comes out, like next patch, we're going to be having Red Goblin. He's part of Hive Mind. Black Knight was confirmed. Ghost Rider, Cosmic, Cosmic Ghost Rider was confirmed. You can assume that if you unlock them uh, and you build them up to a reasonable amount, they will give you benefits in both War and Crucible to a much higher degree than building up an old character would like. Silver Surfer, he's at 55 now. He's going to stay at 55 probably forever at this point. I'll unlock different cosmic characters for the campaign knows that that's going to be fine. He was a necessary evil for the time being, right? Anyway, this video has gone long for a month in review. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what your experience is, guys. And as always, stay happy, all the have fun. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now. That's it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Stay happy, healthy, have fun. And I'll see you in the next one.